What's up guys, Pinker here. Today I have a cool quick tutorial. I'm gonna call this the Vertigo Bounce. And I've kinda done a Vertigo effect before, but um, I just wanna show you this example I did with these cinematics in my Phase Meek editing contest entry. And it's basically this thing. And uh, it's kinda subtle, but uh, works as a cool transition. And then there's another one over here. Or it goes back and then forward instead of forward and backwards. So this is mainly focused towards uh, console editors because I know PC editors can do COD TV and uh, other camera tricks and stuff automatically. But um, if you have COD 4 or Mono for 2 or something without theater mode or something, this effect is for you. And of course, other people can apply this as well. So I'm just going to drag in. I have my main comp here. I'm going to pre-compose our cinematic. And I'm just going to go to the spot where we start moving. So somewhere around here. So I'm going to push B for begin. Move forward and then I step up the steps here. So it kind of uh, glitches a little bit. So I'm just going to end it before that. And then right click your timeline and trim layer or trim comp to work area. So you got to make sure your composition or uh, your cinematic is um, centered and your main object is right in the middle. And you're, when you walk you need to be perfectly straight the whole time try not to wiggle left and right or turn your camera at all you want this to look as smooth as possible that's possible that's why uh... looks better on pc but anyways so that's all we have to do we'll just go back into our comp our main comp and bring out the cinematic we'll zoom in here and all we're gonna do is time remap so we're gonna go to time time remapping now we have a begin a keyframe and an end keyframe now I'm going to move the end keyframe to the middle and go ahead and copy the begin keyframe, command C or control C, and paste it at the end. And if you want, we can uh, put it exactly like that. So it's basically a forwards and backwards motion going on. So the vertical effect happens here. So I'm going to snap to this keyframe. I'm going to push uh, P, shift S, shift R keyframe all those and the reason I keyframe position is it might be off center in the beginning so um, we can always fix that and go ahead and push U to bring up everything and just go to the beginning of the cinematic and since we're going uh, forwards right here we want to be all the way zoomed in so bring this up zoom in like that and um, go ahead and rotate it to a little bit maybe no more than 20 degrees and see how it's not really centered we can just play with the position bring it up and center it a little bit and then so what we get is a cool let's see if I can ram preview this real quick hopefully it doesn't break on me but it is subtle but there is a vertigo effect and what that is is like a change in the camera zoom as the camera itself um, moves relative to the object but the the object appears you know the same size so um, looks pretty cool what I also want to do oh you see that black flash that's because our cinematic is black at the very end so if I go here double click and I can just change this value to a couple frames before like 31 there we go also before I ram preview one more time I'm gonna go to the graph editor on the time remap make sure this is selected a lot of people go to graph editor and then don't see anything that's because nothing selected so make sure you just uh, click on the name and we see the speed here so what I want to do is kind of offset the middle point a little bit back and let's also easy ease this so I can adjust the the handles and the speed that it comes back in and um, that looks okay quick RAM preview for you guys and another cool thing is you can just take all these keyframes right here hold alt and click and drag the last keyframe and you can bring everything in at the same you know ratio so if you want your cinematic to be two seconds long you know we can do that zoom in here and then you know trim of course but a uh, quick RAM preview and then uh, I'll show you the other example and boom Ooh. I think it makes a cool zooming and then uh, comes back really fast and then new clip comes in and yeah 
So for the other example, I'm actually going backwards away, and then uh, I'm going to bring it back. So I'm going to go to when the camera movement starts, so somewhere around here, B, go to the end, and I hit this pole, so I'm going to go before that, and uh, N, and trim, boom, and that is done. So again, I'll go to clip 8, bring this in, and I'll just uh, go ahead and delete the bottom one. And uh, let's see, uh, pretty long composition, or clip, whatever. So same same thing, time remapping, I'm going to go through this quickly. Uh, P, Shift, A, Shift, R, keyframe, all of those guys. Go to the beginning, and I'm going to scale this up, and center it a little bit, and rotate it, maybe this way this time, and uh, center it some more so we can see the guy. And I'm just going to bring all these things and then hold Alt and drag it in. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. And then just trim. And then we should get another cool Vertigo Bounce cinematic. Something like that. So I think it looks cool. Tell me what you guys think about this. And um, I forgot to fix the time remapping. So remember this end keyframe in the middle. And then just copy the begin keyframe, paste it at the end, and um, do this real quick. Just easy ease. No messing with the handles, because, you know, don't want to bore you too much. But this is the main idea here. So go ahead and use this to your advantage. Make some cool new effects, camera tricks, and all that. So the smoke looks kind of funny going backwards in. But you get the idea. Vertigo effect and some rotation and uh, time remap to make it bounce back and forth so um, I'm uploading my V2 entry on Friday today should be Tuesday so be excited for that it's basically almost the same thing just an extra 30 40 seconds long and um, it's gonna be pretty sweet so yeah be sure to like and favorite this video and comment and um, facebook and twitter and all that net social networking jazz and um... yeah let me know if you have any other requests and uh... we'll see you later okay peace